Hey there, thanks for watching. So today's video is going to be on this look right here. I'm just wearing a dark lip and I did a neutral eye just to play down the dark lips. If you want to, you can use a different color on your lip, it really doesn't matter. Um, it still looks good with any lip color that you wear. But yeah, I love this time of the year when you see your family and your friends and you get to have fun and get together with your loved ones and I just love this time of the year, especially with outfits and makeup and just everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Happy Thanksgiving and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first we're starting off with a primer. I'm using the Maybelline Blur and Smooth Primer. I feel like this just really makes my foundation slide onto my face easier and just glide over my skin. So um, next I'm using the Amazonian Clay Foundation. This is a 12 hour stay one. I really like this because I feel like it stays on pretty well throughout the day, especially when you put a primer on. It looks a little tan, but it matches my body. And I'm just blending it out with my Real Technique sponge just to give it that airbrush finish. Then I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on my eyelids just for an eyeshadow base. And let's get into the eyeshadow palette. This is the 88 Neutral Eyeshadow Palette from BH Cosmetics. This color is like an orangey light brown color and I like to use this as my transition color and do that first before I put the rest of my eyelid color on. And I will link every product that I've used down in the description box below. Next we're using this color that's diagonal to the first color we used. None of these eyeshadows have any names on it on this palette so I'm just trying to show you where it's located. And then I'm just going to place that right below the first color that we just used. And then I'm just going to grab a little bit more of a darker color just to add more definition to the transition. I'm just using a matte vanilla shade all over my eyelid just to brighten it up. Moving on to the brows, first I groom them by just brushing the hairs and making sure they're all in its place. Then I just use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and I think it's in soft brown, like I said I'll have it in the description box. But um, I line the outer portions of my brow first, so I do the top portion and the bottom and then I fill it all in after I'm done lining it. Next, what I just did here is just drew out the wing first on my wing liner, then I just connected it all the way to the end. And after that, I used the same MAC Pro Longwear Concealer underneath my eyes, and then I blended it all out with the Real Technique sponge. contouring using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Um, I use all three colors. Sometimes I just use the middle color, but um, I like to just carve out my cheekbones first, and then I do it across my jawline, the temples, and that's about it. going to bake our face. This is what I'm doing here. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm cleaning up the edges where I contoured and then also just setting my concealer and brightening up any areas that I want more lighter. Then I'm just adding blush to the apples of my cheeks and blending it upward. And 
now it's time for falsies. I am using the Demi Wispies by Ardell. I like these because they look a little bit more natural to me. And then I'm blowing on the eyelash glue before I put it on my eyelid, just so it doesn't slide all over my eyelid. I hate it when that happens. So I noticed that whenever it dries a little bit more, it's a little bit more tacky. So it's not sliding everywhere. It's just easy to just set on there. And then I use the my tweezers and then my fingers just to make sure it's placed on there really well. Then going back to the second color we used in the beginning, I'm taking a pencil brush and smoking up that lower lash line to complete the eyeshadow look. Next you can use any big fluffy brush you have, but here I'm just blending out where I was baking my face and you can see where it gives the face just an overall cleaner look. Then I'm going to use mascara to blend my real lashes and falsies together. And my next favorite, which is highlight, this is Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill, and I'm obsessed. It just adds that perfect JLo glow to the skin and just really pops in any type of lighting. And last but not least, let's get into the lip color. First, I'm lining my lips entirely. This is by Rimmel London, and it's called Rapture in 022. I really love a dark matte lip for the fall and winter time. I just think it's very sexy and very feminine, and I just think it just adds so much to the makeup look whenever you add a dark lip. So like I said, I'm just lining my lips on outer first and then filling it in. Then to complete the look, I'm just adding this really deep cranberry lip color. This is by ColourPop and it's called Lax. I think it's a perfect fall, wintry lip color and this just completes my look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and thank you for watching.